moving on with our project, still on the first part and introducing the elements of the Ichimoku Kinko Hyo, we had so far the, the Tenkan, the red line here, the Kinjun, the blue line here, the Kumo as the physical part or the cloud or the most visible part of the Ichimoku um, indicator. But the Kumo, it is actually being represented by the distance between these two lines here. Now these two lines here are being called Senko A and, Se and Senko B. And if the Senko A it is bigger than Senko B, then the cloud is uh, green. But uh, the opposite is very true as well. If Senko A is lower than Senko B, then the cloud it is turning into, um, into, a, red, into a red one. So the actual cloud that is being formed between the between two lines, and these lines are called Senko A and Senko B. If you right-click on the indicator here, and you and you choose the Edit button, then you have the Tenkan, Kinjun, Chinko, Senko A, and Senko B. You might actually you might actually try to let's try to make them a bit bigger, so that we know. We know exactly what they are. So this is the, sen the Senko B, as you can see here, Senko B, and the Senko, the Senko A. Now the beauty of this, of these lines, basically the beauty of the of the cloud is that the actual price is that you see here. It is being projected with this uh, with this uh, Senko A and Senko B, 26 periods ahead, offering a nice a nice um, educated idea about possible support or resistance area. In this case here, this is a four hour chart on the euro dollar, the Senko A and Senko B lines, basically the base and the top of the cloud of, of the cloud of the cloud are, um, are representing possible resistance area. The Senko A, the gray line that you see here, is also called the leading span one but in order to keep things very simple, we are just call it Senko A. It is the leading span, and that means that when Senko A is higher than Senko B, the cloud is green, and when Senko A is lower than Senko B, the cloud is red. This is visible and helps traders to stay focused on what is actually happening on the market. Senko A, it is being calculating as taking the Tenkan and the Kinjun line values, dividing the result by two, and plotted the, the result 26 periods ahead. So basically, it is, uh, it is the, um, let's try to make here, let's try to take a line here, one moment, so the short line. So it is just taking the Kinjun line the Kinjun values here, and then the Tenkan values here, and normally this should be calculated like this. So it should be Kinjun values, Kinjun values and Tenkan values like this. So this is the Kinjun, sorry about that. Kinjun, Tenkan, dividing the result by two, and there you go at the middle, as you can see, right in the middle you should have the value for, you should have the value for the, the Senko, and this is the value for the Senko A. Now the Senko A is the leading span between the two, the two Senkos there. And by the time this one is changing and uh, by the time this one crosses above or below the Senko, Senko B, basically the cloud is changing the color. These are the examples to be, uh, to be taken into consideration. Here it is changing the color. Also here it is changing, changing, the, changing the color. And it, sh and it shows a possible, a possible shift in market sentiment, a possible shift from a bullish environment to a bearish environment. And this should be uh, this should be uh, treated uh, treated with uh, with respect by any trader. This falls already in the forecasting area of trading, and this is just another thing that makes the overall Ichimoku indicator that special, because that because that value of uh, of Kinjun and Tenkan 
divided and projected 26 periods so from this moment of time 26 periods as you can see it is the same value it is the same value of of um, of Senko A so because of that already from this moment of time we have the possible educated guess about uh, about how about how uh, the resistance the future resistance areas to the upside should look like in our case here when you as you can see this is the Kinjun this is the Tenkan so basically the cloud or the the base of the cloud the Senko A that is right here should be the middle or the average between Kinjun and Tenkan so basically right uh, uh, right above right around the same levels now it remains to be seen what price should do normally such uh, such a move if we have if we have the Kinjun cross the Kinjun Tenkan cross here should be followed by a uh, by a cloud that is turning to the upside that is turning green and that means that uh, that means that the Senko A should go above the Senko B let's move on and try to see how it is actually being used 